Welcome to the May 2008 Adology Lab Report, a podcast made especially for advertising agency principals and new business teams. New reports of cutbacks in 2008 ad spending abound, but not all industries will reduce spending equally. And some industries don't anticipate cutting back spending at all. Here's TNS's projection for which industries will increase ad spending, not counting freestanding inserts. Pitching to prospects is likely one of the most dreaded aspects of being in advertising. Stress, performance anxiety, a lot of money at stake. These are just a few of the reasons that advertisers liken the process to a visit to the dentist's office. But PJA Advertising and Marketing President Phil Johnson isn't sympathetic. In his Advertising Age article, he writes that agencies should stop complaining about the pitch, noting that all businesses have unpleasant aspects and require some type of risk. Now, he does agree that the process can be draining. But Johnson notes that much of the time, the unpleasantness of the pitch is partly one's own fault. Success should be measured, and if agencies don't win the majority of their pitches, it's time to take a step back. Agencies should be selective and consider only those accounts that are truly within reach, worth the time and their effort. And agencies shouldn't stretch themselves beyond employee limits. Once an agency has mastered this cherry-picking process, the pitch won't be such a pain. Now, the pitch is really just a vehicle for your big idea. Mark Levy of Levy Innovation recently gave us some tips to help generate your big idea. Levy was one of the speakers at the recent Mirren New Business Development Conference in New York, an event sponsored by Adology. Levy says a good brainstorming meeting should begin with what he calls a thinking campaign. This thinking campaign should start days or even weeks before the brainstorming session. In that time, devote a few minutes every day to think about your topic. Keep track of your thoughts with lists and something he calls private writings, where you write down your honest thoughts quickly and without stopping for a set amount of time. Don't worry, no one ever has to see what you've written. When you're finished, underline words and phrases that intrigue you and then just polish them up. Then have everyone meet with his or her ideas for the brainstorming session. To keep the creative ideas flowing, Levy says to use a little indirection with random association. It's as simple as opening up a book and arbitrarily choosing a noun, writing down every association you can think of for that noun, and seeing if the association words can be used or applied to your problem. The key here, of course, is to force attendees out of the traditional means of solving a problem. How to get that big idea out of your office and in front of the client was also addressed at the Murin Conference. Todd Knutson from The List and David Curry from Catapult New Business reviewed five stages that turns an opportunity into a win, which are actually just the last two stages of that process. Each opportunity really begins with awareness, trust, and value before becoming a win. Knutson and Curry outlined some key practices that will help you complete each step. Awareness is overcoming the fact that the prospect has no idea who you are. A consistent strategy to advertise, network, and proactively prospect will help you with that. Trust is answering the question of why they should talk to you about their problem. You can address this with endorsements, referrals, and case studies. Value addresses the issues of what you bring to the table. This is where you want to demonstrate the return on investment for the prospect. And finally, is there a worthwhile opportunity to pursue and win the account by focusing on the client and not just chasing the money? Position yourself as a valued business partner and ask for the business before you leave. Well, that's it for this edition of the Adology Lab Report. I'm A.J. Fox. Happy hunting.